Hello fellow modelers! In this video tutorial I'm going to show you how to make from Easy Snapkit something more interesting. This F18 made by Academy you can build without glue and has only a few parts, but the quality of the details and the mold is probably the best what you can buy to this date. As you can see, it looks lovely. However, when I saw a trailer from a new Top Gun movie, I fell in love to F18 with a raised flaps and folded wings. The whole plane looks more delightful, in my opinion, so it's going to be fun again. I use for cutting and separating plastic parts with a razor saw. You can buy different types and teeth sizes, and rather more, because it is easy to break them. I recommend starting with something easy, for example cool are the rudders. I found interesting that point towards each other. The straight cut is usually very straightforward. The razor saw is very thin, so even in 72 scale you can simply follow the lines that are molded into the plastic. A little bit more difficult is cut under the angle. You can relatively perform straight cut, but then you will need to remove a lot of material, because inner and outer construction of the flaps are rounded. Therefore, with the angle side cut you will make a triangular profile that is easier to round and the flaps will fit into each other. You can round profile with a metal file or electric grinder. If you don't want to bother with a party, then you can also round the rudder, only it will be a little bit smaller with a comparison to the original one. In the scale no one will notice. However, if you want to be painstaking, you can cover details with a masking tape and extend the rudder size with a party or plastic profiles. Now it's like an original one. I mean almost, because there is another issue. The shape and thickness of the plastic are incorrect. You can check out, for example, this image. As you can see, the trailing edge is sharp like a blade. The plastic one, not so much. So again, you can use an ordinary nail file or some sanding sticks if you want to modify the shape. Now the more tricky part, how to make extended flaps, slats and folded wings. However, first you need to find a proper photo recommendation. You can use Google. Nevertheless, do not forget that Super Hornet is highly modified, so don't get fooled with the older F18 versions when searching for details. The fuselage and wings are molded from one plastic piece with a nice surface details, so make this modification is going to be tricky. Anyway, it is good to clarify what I actually want to do. I draw the illustration pictures. I simply need to make from one plastic part 17 individual pieces, and few of them make from scratch. The red highlighted parts are parts that I want to remove from the wing. It looks easy. So let's start. The end section of the wing is molded from one part, even with the other side. Therefore, in my opinion, it is easier to remove the whole flap. The flap is from the bottom side already rounded. So I am performing just a straight cut. And on the top side I will remove more plastic later. Good practice is to cut a deeper line into the plastic before you start sewing. The deeper line will keep the cut straight and narrow. The razor saw is thin and partly flexible. You can bend it and make the cut to angle. However, I broke a few blades this way, but here it was not a problem. Now I'm cutting out the end of the wing for the folded position. Do not lose this small plastic block and glue it back to the wing tip. According to photo documentation of the real machine, it is essential to remove more plastic and correct shape. I use proxon grinder and small milling cutters, because it is faster than removing this amount of plastic only with metal files. They are good for removing imperfections and detailing. Now without the wing tip, I can easily remove the second part of the main flap. Mm -hmm. 
Last but not least, I must cut out leading edge slot. The mechanical system for flaps and slot works depending on the each other. If you make flaps extended, then you need to also move slot a little to angle and down. However, this cut is easy, because you can follow the line on the other side and do not care about details around. It was such a nice model, however, the small pieces are nicer. You already know from the radar modification that this whole customization is about cutting, filling and crazy sending, because there is and will be a lot of it. First I'm milling a small groove into the slot, because otherwise I would need to add a lot of putty and correct shape, so this way is easier. I recently upgraded my tools for Proxont, and new milling cutters proved useful, especially for this model. I realized after a mock-up test that I forgot to remove another part of the main flap from the bottom side. I can move razor saw to my toolbox for a while, because I need to achieve something like this. How to do that? You need some styrene plastic boards of different thicknesses, and with them you will extend the missing part. And with a party for plastic, fill gaps or seam lines. Now I'm sending down excess party and adjust the whole shape of the flaps. The essential is to use a proper photo documentation. I uploaded some photos which I used to my OneDrive and added a link to a video description. If you do not have a plastic boards or profiles, you can simply use a residual plastic sprue. The same problem is with a plastic thickness on the trailing edge, again. The real one is sharp like a blade. However, I removed a lot of details like rivet lines and pan lines with all these modifications, so it'll be necessary to restore them. The section for flaps on the folded wing part is molded in one piece. Therefore, I am carefully creating two notches for multiple flaps. The top main flap I cut out from kit earlier. You only need to thin down plastic and then extend the size of the flap with the plastic profiles. And that is because small part of the flaps is in the raised position, hidden inside of the wing. I destroyed in the process a similar part of the flap, but on the wingtip. I must make a new one from scratch, luckily the shape is simple and you can make a new one from thin plastic board. I decided not to cut out the whole slot this time, and only move it down slightly, and fill the created gap with a party. Great, we have flaps, so now the mechanical system for folded wings. You only need to notice a small detail. This little cover part in the folded position is tilted to a right angle. You can possibly leave it be, because the gap is not significant and in some scale hardly noticeable. But I am removing it, because even so I must remove a lot of plastic for the mechanical system.
you can't melt down plastic dust with a super thin glue. Ok, with this modification we are almost done. Now it only remains to do everything again on the second wing. But do not worry, I rather skip this section because it was basically the same as what you already saw. I am testing wing and flaps position if all parts fit together with a cellulosive poster gum. It took some time to make this conversion, but I like the result. Now it only remains to restore and make new details. For example, this mechanical system for folded wings. As you can notice here in the nice picture, it is basically 30 rings connected to each other. I measure wing gap and it has more or less 16 mm. If you divide 16 by 30, you will get more or less 0.5 mm thickness for each ring. So if you have a plastic sheet of 0.5 mm thickness and circle puncher, then the rest is easy. You only need 60 small circles and glue them together. I made three circles diameters. 2 mm, 1.8 mm and 1.6 mm. And this is the result. I had only a few pictures on how the whole system looks and works. So maybe interconstruction is a little bit different, but all this will be hidden. I am making a small group for circles. If you don't have an electric grinder, then you can use sharp hobby blade or round metal file. Ok, now I am going to unify all extra parts with a primer, but first I need to glue some holders. You can use ordinary super glue and toothpick. I am spraying grey primer, because it will unify the transition between white and grey plastic, but also reveal me imperfections. I use for sanding Super Asilex sanding claw. It is for professional car bodywork repairs or for perfect car finishing. It is made from fabric and has special structure that does not clog up with dust so easily. Here you can see the difference after sanding. The surface is nicely clean and without any dust particles. You can fill some minor imperfections with a primer and apply it with a cheap paintbrush. I already told you that I remove with a sanding some details, so first I am rescribing panel lines with a razor saw. If you want a narrow line, then useful guideline can be, for example, electrical tape. Maybe you are thinking about why I am making all these panel lines and rivet lines. On the original aircraft is surface nicely smooth and without any rivets. Yes, but only if you look from a distance. The riveting is nicely visible in detail. It is not definitely in the scale, but the rest of the model has rivets and lines already indicated, so I instead prefer to make it uniform with the rest of the model. You can blow out the dust after sanding with an airbrush, high pressure and water. As you can see there is a large gap after removing flaps. The best for this large filling is two component epoxy party, which is after drying very strong and create uniform layer. And the best is, you can smooth or sculpting needed shape with a cotton swab and water. I learned recently how to make a nice molds and resin cast, so if you want to make the same model with the folded wings, I'm going to make the first limited series of 10 or 20 of them. They will be available on my Patreon page. Or just follow this tutorial and make your own from kit and plastic profiles. I am using the same resin conversion kit for this model. 
I only need to remove the mold runner and assemble the parts. I use for gluing resin and plastic parts super glue, which makes a very strong bond. The main flaps are quite fragile, so for more durable joint you can drill out holes and add copper wires. I'm quite pleased with this conversion, because the whole plane looks with a folded wings and extended flaps less monolithic and probably fragile, and primarily like some larger scale model. And that is not all, however, the next conversion next time. Thank you for watching, stay creative and see you next time.